this is an ACL or Access Control List Lab. In this lab, you've been asked to configure router one to restrict traffic based on these instructions. We need to use access list 100. In other words, an extended IP version four access list. Inside PC one, which is this PC here, should be restricted so that it can only access HTTP server one using HTTP on subnet 10.1.1.0 24. In other words, this PC should only be able to access this server using HTTP. These two servers are in subnet 10.1.1.0 24. The inside PCs are in subnet 10.1.2.0 24. Inside PC two, this PC here, should only be able to access HTTP server two this server using HTTPS on that subnet. So in other words, the only device that PC1 should be able to access on subnet 10.1.1.0 is this server using HTTP. The only device that PC2 should be able to access on subnet 10.1.1.0 is this server using HTTPS. No other PCs or servers on subnet 10120 should be able to access any other devices on network 10110 slash 24. At the moment, we only have these two PCs, but if you had another device connected to the switch in this subnet 10120 slash 24, that device should not be able to access any other devices in subnet 10110 slash 24. Now by default, there is an implicit deny any in Cisco IP access lists. Normally, you would add an explicit line to log traffic. So you would use the word log at the end of your access list entry to log traffic to a syslog server, for example. Now Packet Tracer doesn't support that logging option. So we're going to add the line explicitly, but in the real world, we'd add a log keyword to log that traffic. It will allow us, however, to see matches on an access list. So we're going to explicitly specify that line. Hosts on subnet 10120 should be able to access any other network. So in other words, these two PCs should be able to access cisco.com and facebook.com. Now you need to bind the access list in the most efficient place on router one. So where are you gonna place the access list on router one? You need to decide where that access list will be placed. Will it be placed here, here, or here? Now don't forget, just because you've configured something doesn't mean that it's working the way you think it's working. Routers do what you tell them, not what you think they should do. So make sure that you verify that things are working properly. So verify that inside PC1 can access internal HTTP server one using HTTP, but it's not able to ping HTTP server two, for example. Verify that inside PC2 can access the internal HTTP server two using HTTPS, but can't ping HTTP server one. You could also do some additional tests like PC2 shouldn't be able to browse using HTTP to server one. PC1 shouldn't be able to browse using HTTPS to server two and so forth and so on. You should also verify that both inside PC1 and PC2 can browse to cisco.com and facebook.com. Now we'll do a more complex lab in a separate video, but this is an example to get you started. Are you able to complete the lab? Download the attached packet tracer file and see if you can complete the lab yourself. In the next video, I'll give you some tips and tricks as well as show you how to complete the lab.